BenderForest.com. What is up, everybody? It's me, I he he TV here um, with a little bit of that game. Um, yeah, I guess a bit of IHE gaming can come in right now and look at the latest Destiny season. Um, I haven't played this game properly in a while. Uh, the new season dropped, I think, last week or so. Um, I've done the intro, like, story mission thing. Got a vague overview of what is new, but I figured I'd... I don't know, record my initial reactions to some of this stuff. Maybe do a mission of whatever this story is. See what's up. Just initial impression, chill type stuff. Let's just start with this. Uh, the Bladed Path. Conquer powerful combatants and tithe strength to Eris Morn. Okay, let's do that, I guess. Let's uh, grow. Okay, explore the ritual chambers. Actually, hold up. Before I do that, I heard there were some new strand aspects added. So I might go see if I can find those. The Puka Pond. Remember the Puka Pond? Can't wait to explain what the Puka Pond is. All these unanswered questions. Oh, my. Let's Meccano ship our way there, huh? Ah, loading screen simulator at it again. You can practice your meditation during these myriad loading screens. Wait, did I get to the right place? Yeah. Okay, now we good, we good. Um, I could listen to this cringy audio log for a second. Let's see how bad this is. Vanguard forces recently engaged an independent provocateur identified as Nezarek within a derelict Black Fleet vessel. Described as the final god of pain in pre-collapsed sources, he possessed potent psionic abilities. Authorities believe these abilities allowed him to access and disrupt cloud arc operations here in Neomuna. Cool. Let's see if I'm right. What have we got? Uh, yep, looks like there's something here. Oh, I can't get it. Requires completion of the Unveiled quest. Saw. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. How do I get that then? Unveiled. Wait, have I not done that? Okay, I guess forget about that for now. Let's go see our favorite guy, Nimbus. Maybe he can help us. Hello, Nimbus. Surprising lack of Nimbus in the uh, Final Shape reveal trailer. I was hoping he'd be on the poster and everything. <laughs> ah, Nimbus, long time no see, my boy. Hey! Oh, here it is. What do you have to do? Data crawler inspected. What does that mean? Oh, I can get the shader. Mmm, dopamine. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. Right, okay. This is the destiny cycle. Now I'm distracted. I'm not even doing... I guess this technically is seasonal. Whatever. Unveiled. Let's go. It's only two steps, so maybe this won't take too long. Famous last words. God, I find this so confusing. Is it really that? Are you for real? Veil containment. Hang on. Oh man. God, this is... Oh god. Check on Osiris's data crawl. What is a data crawler? Is that this? I guess so. Is this a data crawler? Oh my god. Yeah, I can do some meditation now. I oh, know. Oh, it's, it's loading surprisingly fast. Normally you get stuck in these for a while. Okay, so what are we up to? What are we do? What are we seeing here? Oh my god. Geoma Essie. Research log. The Veil. I don't even know where to start. When we landed on Neptune, there was... Oh. Something waiting for us. An, an alien structure. Cool. 
cool. Okay. That's enough of that. Um, wait, is that all I had to do? I'm so glad you could just fast travel there. I, they must have added that because I'm pretty sure you had to run there before. Give me that aspect now. Cool. Defeat a target with a melee attack, finish it, or sword to raise a banner of war that pulses with energy, periodically healing nearby allies, increasing melee. Okay. That's an interesting quest, huh, guys? Cool. Let's just see what happens. They've apparently buffed hand cannons or something, so maybe I should be using one of those, but... Man, I can't even... Let's just, let's just do an activity, man. Let's just drive you insane. I don't have a... Uh, In-depth knowledge of, like, the whole sandbox like I once did, so... I don't... I don't know. Right. Let's finally... Let's do this story mission, then, see... See what's going on here. Invoke. Do I have time to meditate now? I've got my meditation bowl ready. Hear that? How chill is that? Eris has detected a gravitic anomaly beneath the spire. She thinks it's a ritual chamber. A ritual chamber. We call that the Arcane Oubliette. Savathun stores all kinds of drooling goons in there. Warm bodies Gunas. for magical experiments. If you want to feed blood and guts to your discount hive god, that's the place to do it. Oubliette. God, I haven't heard that word since I was a kid watching Labyrinth. The Oubliette. Same way you use the poor slogs and gambit for target practice. And listen to this. I'm listening. The Oubliette. After a human invention, a prison where the only exit is the ceiling, just out of reach. A place for people to be thrown in and forgotten until the time is right. This is where I'll keep in touch with all my bygone subjects. Both as a queen and researcher. I like this environment. It's cool. Uh, hello? This is already better than the Season of the Deep. Oh. Hello, Eris Morn. Do you feel it? The latent power of the Witch Queen's spellcraft. What the? Cool. Oh, all right. Kill, kill. Dopamine. Oh, yes. I wait for the white square. Then I shoot the white square. Did that miss? He missed. Hee <laughs> hee. See, when I'm a titan, I just want to be punching and doing this. I'm kind of confused. Oh, okay. I guess that did it. Hooray. Little bit scary, huh? Okay, so I got three. Deposit the goober into the circle. And then you got a destiny win. Yippee! I kill him now. So I guess the story is Eris Morn needs to defeat Zivu Arath, is that her name? Sabathin's sister, Oryx's sister, who's kind of been teased a few times. She needs to absorb ritual goobers in order to Ungoober the goober and have a chance at goobering the goober MacGuffin goober and then we can fight creature goober. Where do I deposit? Oh, hello, Bank of Destiny. Where do I deposit? Oh, prevent vex sacrifices. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. 
Right. Be very curious how this like looks to someone who, who I don't know, there are a bunch of people that like just watch my Destiny videos but don't play the game. Does this look like any different to you? Or does this look like cool? Cause it's just yeah, it's kinda of more destiny, you know. That is one of the best Destiny changes. I don't know when they did it, actually. But making it so you don't need to pick up primary weapon ammo anymore. That used to be super annoying. Oh, I've got to punch this crystal. Hmm, doesn't work the best with this subclass, huh? <laughs> Okay. Charged with crystals, charged with Final Fantasy, let's do this. I'm quite enjoying this exotic. Feels like getting revenge on the hive with those annoying knights that shoot these kind of projectiles. So I played through a Halo Reach campaign yesterday as of recording this. I was kind of blown away by how the level of production, how much lower it is in Destiny. No, it was fire. She's gonna need a lot more ties before she's powerful enough to challenge Zivu. So go ahead, sport. Make a mess. Enjoy yourself. I wonder who vo uh, voices this Amari character. Because it's actually. I'm not annoyed by this performance or dialogue, so that's... It kind of stands out. <laughs> that was a mission, I guess. And then you go to the hollow projector in the helm. Let's do that then. Which you do by... Going here. Cool. Do I have enough time to meditate again? Listen to that. How soothing is that? Might accidentally be the brown note, so watch yourselves. God, those automated animations are very limited, huh? Visit the radio in the helm. Okay. I call them the deck of whispers. And they I call it fire dance moves. Look at this. Each of their ideograms appears to carry the weight of symbolism. Cool, thanks. So I guess that's that's the first week of Quote unquote story. Um, there's this whole like card mechanic or something. What the heck? I don't know if that's supposed to happen. What? The hell? Okay, so it's just broken. <laughs> cool. No, it worked that time. <laughs> cool. I will embody it. Cool. Thank you, I guess. The bladed path. Listen to Eris' story, I just did that. Learn about sword logic. Oh, is this like a actual cutscene? Yes, cool. Ink blotch, baby. The sword logic. The impetus of the hive. The Taken King, brother to Savathun and Zivu Arath, sought whispers from the worms of fundament and dredged this truth from the deep. All things must prove their right to exist. The rest will die in terror. There is neither escape nor exemption. Simple. Essential. Beautiful to know. Oryx led his sisters down the bladed path. We have tested ourselves against horrors. We emerge changed. Through this, we become stronger. Seems to be a lot more motion in these. Yeah, it seems like the seasonal stuff is a good place. Um, well, it seems like a natural fit for like exposition dumps like that. It really does not bug me when it's presented that way. So I guess that's that's not the first week of story, that would be the second week. I guess I can check in the challenges here. Um, yeah, that was the first week. 
Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna do the week two thing in this video. I'm just gonna play for about an hour, I think. Um just get initial impressions out there, record some of this stuff. I was looking through the season I guess the battle pass. It is a battle pass, that's what it is. Um nothing too crazy. I don't know. I don't think any of them have really been exciting as far as <laughs> Battle Pass? I, I don't like Battle Passes as a rule. I, I don't really find it an addictive system. In fact, I find it really boring. <laughs> it could be the Pope, I guess. That's the thing, the Hive are kind of a cool enemy and they have cool lore, but all the all the Hive-themed stuff... Pretty, pretty ugly, huh? Yeah, not my style. Okay, I guess let's end this by trying one of these... Spire thing is we could do Sabbath and Spire or Altars of Summoning. A little bit of a shame how kind of obscured Sabathun is. I was kind of hoping to see or when she came back for it to be more in the flesh or more I don't know. Cool character, just wanna see more of. I always like seeing players that have this they've already level nine and level ten guardian rank. It's just like man. How do you do that? <laughs> I'm so conscious of like the uh, the visual noise that comes with this game. Like, if ever have like a friend over or I'm showing someone this game, it's just like color, ADD. Oh, but how do you get to be a cowboy? I want to be a cowboy. So I was saying this to someone yesterday. I'm I'm so shocked that this game did not adopt some kind of tower defense slash roguelike uh just proper firefight horde type mode thing I feel like you could do so much because the gameplay is already there, it's solid if you could just build up some systems around it you know auto turrets or temporary buffs or debuffs, stuff like that and I know they're tinkering with it but I just feel like there's so much room to do more. It just feels a bit late. Nearly ten years later. Berserker. That's another thing I like about this season. They've added medals to a lot of activities, which made me really appreciate how much of a identity thing I had with that association with medals and feedback, um, especially with those old Halo multiplayers, like, you know, obviously double kills, kill sprees, stuff like that. It encourages me to not die. It makes me want to not die and lose my sprees and stuff. Yeah, there are levels in Halo Reach that do have randomized elements where it's like, there's a list of objectives and it would deliver them. You can do them in any order and it's like randomized to some degree. The level New Alexandria operates that way. I'm going to die. Um, yes, I'm just shocked there's not more of that baked into the core design of this game. They definitely could have done it at some point. Especially if the crux is literally just playing the same stuff again and again. So yeah, d let me know in the comments if you're, you know, a uh, Stockholm syndrome Destiny player like me. How the season's landing for you. How you're feeling about <laughs> the build up to the final shape. I'm genuinely curious to read how it's sitting for people. So I really can't get a, a greater read on how, like, the community at large feels. It seems quite split. See, this is what's good about having these really good players, these addict players who are way better than you. They can just carry you. Carry you to rewards. That sweet, unearned victory. I'm just gonna teleport soon, aren't I? People are so fast. Yeah, there we go. Haha. <laughs> right, what am I being teleported into? What mess? Oh my! F it, I'm, I'm whipping out the big guns for this. I, understand I did it. So my first impressions, um, if this if this does have randomized elements, then it's immediately kind of more fun. 
than the Season of the Deep equivalent stuff. Uh, yeah, this is only surface level. Um, I'll have better thoughts when I've gone through the whole seasonal story and stuff. It's, again, just to be clear, initial impressions. Um, let's, let's give this guy a little, a little something. Thoughtful. Thanks for being thoughtful, player. Oh, they're gone. They can't give me one back. Oh, I guess that'll be that. Let me just shoot the sky with glee. Well, I guess, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Watch this, I'm going to trick shot the nipple. Nice, subscribe. <laughs> ah. <laughs>